So we made videos of the cook-off for y'all. So why don't we get started with the first side dish cook-off. Hi, I'm Kathy Hazard. I'm from Palm Bay, Florida, and I'm a travel agent and a cook. John and I have been married 31 years, and he is, without a doubt, my rock, and I think I'm gonna keep him. My husband and I love to ride Harleys. We actually both have road names. Um, he is Hazmat, and I'm Sticky Buns. Hi, I'm Mandy Heaston. I'm a mom of three. I'm from Seattle, Washington, and I'm a professional opera singer. I have three beautiful little girls. They're seven, five, and three. They love to cook with me. They love to shop. My husband and I really like to take breaks every once in a while, just the two of us, and escape and have some alone time and just reconnect. He's my best friend, and it's really fun to have a break and an adventure with him. Hi, I'm Jackie Nicholson. I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I teach kids church, and I also part-time nanny. I'm 21 years old, and I would love to open up a cooking school and teach kids how to cook. I really feel that when they can learn different techniques in the kitchen, it'll help them in, in every aspect of life. Hi, I'm Ann Miller Tobin, and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I am fun-loving, Funny. I love to make people laugh. If given the opportunity, I would drop everything and travel the world. If you give me a ticket, I would go anywhere, anytime. So let's go ahead and bring out the four finalists in the side dish category. Come on, girls! Wait, no! Oh, 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 my goodness! I want to wish y'all all the luck. So. Go to it, girl. Good luck. Thank you. Look at that. Look at the coloring. The coloring. <laughs> so the girls have been cooking for a few minutes now, y'all. So why don't we go in, check on them, and maybe chat with them a minute. So follow me. What is your dish? Swiss char au gratin. Au gratin? Yes, it's That means rich. a white sauce <laughs> with probably Philadelphia cream cheese oh, yeah. in it. Now what right. dish are you making? This is my roasted tomato pepper uh -huh. soup with a cream cheese pesto schmutz. Oh. Well, I don't know that I've ever eaten a schmutz. Well. <laughs> <laughs> So, what is the name of your dish? This is an asparagus and Parmesan cream pastry. Mm -hmm. Taking Philadelphia cream cheese mm -hmm. and mixing in some Parmesan, fresh mm -hmm. lemon, basil to make our base, and then we're gonna roast the asparagus on top of it. It looks delicious. What, what is the name of your dish, Kathy? This is shrimp corn chowder, and it's a family recipe. Oh, it is? Mm -hmm. So you've been making a long time. Well, my mama was making a long time, and I had to let her know that I entered this contest with what was her recipe. It's a if you, if yeah. you walk away with the $25,000, you got to share it with mama? I think so. I'll be taking her somewhere. <laughs> yeah. So y'all, I think I've taken up enough of their time. I almost caused Jackie's bacon to burn. I've distracted them long enough, so I'm gonna leave them to their dishes, to the cooking. Y'all can continue to watch, but I will see the girls and you in the judging room. The judges' feedback could not have been better. It was five stars. Everybody loved it, the texture, the taste, the presentation. So I think I did really well in that part. With every different bite, you taste something different. Mm -hmm. So the first time I had a shrimp, and um, second time I had the corn and the potatoes, and each bite was delicious. Wonderful, thank you. Cooking my dish today was kind of surreal. I, I still don't believe I was in there with Paula and all these other women that I've admired and become friends with. I entertain a lot, and so this is perfect for entertaining. I don't think that really happened. <laughs> Seriously, did that just happen? 
presenting my dish to Paula and the judges was great. I was a little nervous, but when I got up there, they made me feel really comfortable, and they put me at ease. I felt like I was right at home. Jackie, it is delicious. Food can be so passionate for people when they say, this is good. You're like, really? Are you sure? You mean that, and you can feel that, and it's just an amazing feeling. It is yummy, and I love that schmuck in the center. <laughs> <laughs> I will remember this for the rest of my life. So, you ready to bring them out? So come out our side dish finalists. Now, this is Kathy down on the end, y'all. She's from Palm Hi. Bay, Florida. <laughs> and she made the shrimp corn chowder. Kathy, we're so ha happy to have you here tonight. I'm so proud to be here. <laughs> uh, Lori, why don't you tell Kathy a little bit about what you thought about her dish? Kathy, I thought you made really good use of the cream cheese in your soup, and it really gave the soup a nice texture. It was creamy, it was velvety, but it didn't seem really heavy. And I think the shrimp stock, the shrimp stock really thinned it out and, and made it very flavorful. And I love how you shaved the shrimp very thin so you didn't get big old chunks of shrimp in every bite. And I, I think it's a great summertime dish because you could really cut some fresh, sweet corn in there and yes. just make it great. You did a great job. Thank you so much. And uh, it, it was. It was just delicious. And uh, it's women like Kathy, y'all, that make me proud to say I am a woman. I am in her class and her category because she works with disabilities. What disabilities? <laughs> <laughs> Bubba, my brother here, Uncle Bubba is sitting over here, and we had two parents, Kathy. Uh, we both lost them when they were very young, but they both lost their left leg in the same spot. And we never saw that as a disability, and they never allowed it to stop them. So. All right, Miss Jackie. Miss Jackie is from, it may be my favorite large city, y'all. She's from Chicago. Yeah. And she made a fabulous dish that she calls Swiss chard, Swiss chard. Sometimes my southern accent messes okay, me up. Sorry. Au gratin. Uh, Robin, what'd you think of it? Your dish was so creamy and so rich. It was luscious. <laughs> loved the creaminess of the Philadelphia cream cheese. Loved the crunch of the bacon and the breadcrumbs that you used. Yum. <laughs> um, and what I really liked about it, it was versatile. You could serve it with baked chicken, a grilled steak, some sauteed fish, Anything, it would pair beautifully. Delicious. Thank you so much. Thank you. And you, you know, Jackie, I really think I added to your dish. Oh, yeah, that bacon. Because I caused you to let your bacon get real crunchy. <laughs> you did. <laughs> All right, now the last one in our group is Mandy, and she's here from Seattle. And, um, Did I say last one? I didn't mean the last one, the third to the last. Third, next to the last, y'all. It's been a long day. It's been a long three days, hasn't it? But Mandy is here from Seattle, and she made a wonderful asparagus and Parmesan cream puff pastry. 
Did I say that right? I think you said it right, and I think you said it all. And what do you think of what? What did you think about I, it, Aunt Peggy? I thought your creation was just fabulous, and oh. it will be served at Paula's home in the fall when she is giving her niece Paul, Kari a we their wedding, and it will be on the menu. Oh, what an and honor. thank you for bringing that creation to What an honor. Thank you. Mandy. Mandy, I was so perplexed. We had the whole menu worked out except for the appetizers as they come to our house. And I said, settled. I'm honored. I'm honored. They were delicious. Thank you. Now, last but not least, we have Ann, and she's from Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> and <laughs> oh, witch! <laughs> and Ann cooked the most wonderful roasted tomato and pepper soup with a pesto cream cheese schmutz. Yes. <laughs> and I have to tell you, just like I said on the video, I had no idea I was such a smutch lover. <laughs> it was out of this world. And I have to tell you, I did not pace myself that day, girls. Now, these three girls, they took little princess bites, and they didn't overeat. And I was sitting there licking the plate of the first three dishes. Well, by the time I got to the soup, I could not eat it all. But what I ate, it was fabulous. All of you girls did such a wonderful job. And, um, you know, how do you pick one? It's hard. It was so hard. Uh, I think all of these girls are winners. Absolutely. Uh, is uh, everybody's heart beating real fast? Uh -huh. Do you feel like you're in the Miss America? <laughs> and you're waiting for the answers. And I'm looking for something. Where are my flowers? Where are they? <laughs> Were you trying to steal our flowers, take them to your girlfriend, want to get lucky? <laughs> It's such a privilege for me to uh, announce this. And girls, you're all so good. But the winner of the first round of competition is Mandy Heaston. <laughs> great job at this and uh, I'll, I'll try my best I'm so excited to do this and represent those mamas out there and thank you thank you so much you're welcome darling the privilege has been mine you want your check sure <laughs> uh -oh. come get it I don't want to make my husband jealous <laughs> thank you Mandy thank you so congratulations much. 